good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be diving into my personal top 10 WWE figures of the year thus far. 2020 has been... <laughs> Oh, man. 2020 has been Trash Corbin, I guess. Let's let's put that. If 2020 was a wrestler, it would be Trash Corbin. So getting into that, today we're going to get into a positive side of 2020. You know, we're pretty much at the halfway point. I did cover, you know, the best figures of the year so far, but we've had some more releases since then, and I wanted to do a personal top 10. I wanted to do a top 10, you know, what I think is better than the rest. Thus far into 2020, we still got six months left. Coming up in a week or so, I think it's 10 days or so, we're going to have Comic-Con at home, which is going be San Diego Comic Con. We're going to get all the big reveals of the figures we're going to get going into later 2020 and on into 2021. So it's a very good time to be a collector, man. Tons of great figures, great figures on the screen already. None of these figures are in my top 10. I'll tell you that right now. If you guys were wondering, none of these figures are in the top 10. So if you guys wanted to see these guys, that they, they didn't make the cut. You know, they're just outside the cut. Maybe you could go 20 through 11. I don't think the Tucker would be on there. There's some figures that probably wouldn't be on here, but these are some of the cool releases that we've gotten thus far in 2020. Well, let's shut the hell up and dive into my personal top 10 WWE figures of 2020. So coming in at number 10, guys, we have China. We have China, which came in the 2-pack DX Deluxe Pack. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. The 2-pack Elite DX Pack with Triple H and China. This figure is really solid. Everything about it is pretty good. I think the likeness isn't the best, which is why it's at number 10, but having a China figure is a really big deal. I love the double-jointed knees. I like the arm mold we got going on. In my review, one of my biceps was backwards, but that was my fault. It was like it turned around like this, and then the elbow was switched around, but I did end up fixing that it was my own personal you know fault you get a lot of good things with this figure i'm just happy to have a china in the collection i think it's great i love the boots on this and it's definitely one of the better figures of the year as far as females are concerned for sure it is just it can compete with the men's figures man just like china could back in the day this figure is fantastic number nine guys we have the wrestlemania 36 booker t wrestlemania 19 figure and i love this one man this one is super fantastic i love the head sculpt i like the body mold i like the attire i like the moment you know he did kind of get buried in that matchup but i still loved booker t around that time i was super behind him i despised triple h growing up as a kid i i didn't learn to love him until later obviously because you know when you're a little kid and the heel is just beating up on your favorite guys and he's such a dickhead they're like god man can this guy get slapped in the titties once or twice, but this Booker T is, is great, man. It's a great figure. I, I'm not big on the big knee pads, but they were accurate. It's on ball joints. It's just really nice. It comes with a ton of hands. I, I think I really want to see another Booker T from this era. Hopefully at Comic-Con at home, we get some more reveals of another Booker T. I love the boots. It's just a good figure, man. This is probably the best figure out of that set. I liked it better than the Matt Hardy, than the Mick Foley, than the, who else? The Kofi Kingston. I like the Booker T the most, so I went with this one out of that set, and that is our number nine figure, so far this year. Coming in at number 8, guys, we gotta put my man in there. We gotta put Seth freaking Rollins. Now, this is the Top Talents 2020 Elite, but it is fixed up. You guys can see I turned it into like a fantasy attire. I do have my second one on the way that should be here very soon. So, uh, the, I'm, I'm not grading it on the fix-up. I'm grading it as the Top Picks 2020 figure. I like the Top Picks 2020 figure, even though it doesn't have the X on the vest from the X-Men attire. I still like the attire. It's a great figure head-to-toe, -to -toe, great head sculpt and everything, and it's just standalone as a great figure out of the package. Not much to say. If you guys own it, you know what I'm talking about. That is our number eight. Now, coming in at number seven, this one was actually pretty difficult for me, but I did ultimately go with Braun Strowman. The Elite 76 Braun Strowman, I think this is a fantastic head sculpt. It's a fantastic body mold. I'm so glad to have a shirtless Braun Strowman, finally. I did replace the hands with Lars Sullivan basic hands. Shout out to my man, Mike, the wrestling collector, for that one. But overall, this figure is just the bee's knees, man. The head sculpt's pissed off. He's got a great torso. I love the boots. I like everything about it. I feel like the Braun Strowman figures, the Elite figures in general, just get better and better and better every time they get released. And this Braun Strowman is no different, man. I think it's a really great figure. And if you don't own it, I would suggest you get it. I think it's the best Braun Strowman. Even if it's shirtless all the time, it's still really nice. And it had to come in at number seven. I think it is a, it's a beast, man. It's a monster among men, if you will, among our WWE action figures. 
Coming in at number six, guys, we have none other than Mr. Money in the Bank. We have Otis from Heavy Machinery, Elite 76 Otis. This figure is very unique. It's got a ton of posability. I know it can, you know, it can rotate around. It can rotate here. It's just one of those figures that feels great in the hand. It can kick forward. It's got ball joints. The knee pads are sculpted on the figure, which uh, some people hate, some people like. I personally like it, you know, because it gives the aesthetic of knee pads, but it doesn't hinder articulation. He's still got a good knee cut there. Thigh cut. Boots look good. Great ankle pivot and uh, I don't know it's just a fun figure to pose around if you own this figure you know what I'm talking about great head sculpt can't he move the head the best but I was really impressed with this release I think Mattel did a really excellent job with this figure overall I think it looks like Otis it, it, it moves like Otis I think that they did a really good job with it so I had to put Otis on my top 10 and he comes in at the number six spot Coming in at number five, guys, we have a part of a two-pack. I don't know why the camera rotated, but we have the WrestleMania 35 WrestleMania two-pack Samoa Joes and Rey Mysterio Rey Mysterio. So we have the Mysterio Rey Mysterio. I mean, what is there to say? This figure is just beautiful. If you own it, you know what I'm saying. I think you can actually get it on Amazon for cheap, or you can get it at Ringside Collectibles right now using promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%, but he can do the split seats. He can move all around. The deco on this figure is insane. All the details details it's got going on. I honestly don't know how they're able to, you know, make these figures that are so accurate to Marvel. I know the wrestlers can wear whatever they want without logos and stuff like that. Some can wear the, even the logos, but I'm not sure how they get away with it without getting in trouble for likeness or copyright issues or anything like that or trademarks. But I'm glad they made this, man. Like, just all the gold black and green and the scales from this Mysterio attire and the deco and the head skull. I mean, dude, this thing just has so many things with it and it even includes the cape. So, I mean, this figure just looks great, man. I mean, I don't know what else to say. I want to grab another one of these to do like a cool fix-up, like switching around some parts from different Rey Mysterios and stuff. But overall, really cool Rey Mysterio. I mean, it, it's the bee's knees, man. It's, it's a beast. You definitely need that one in the collection. That had to come in at number five. Coming in at number four, guys, I am going with the Ultimate Edition John Cena. Ultimate Edition John Cena, this is easily one of the better Ultimate Editions, and I think it is possibly one of the best of the year, you know? I mean, it's just so good. This one is just amazing, man. I love this one. I'm probably a little biased, but I love this head sculpt, the screaming head sculpt. I wasn't a fan of that straight face head sculpt. I think it was trying to replicate the moment where he returned at the Royal Rumble in 2008. It just didn't do it for me, man, but the cloth shirt and all the accessories, the sweatbands that are molded on on there, the interchangeable hands, double jointed arms. I know it's an Ultimate Edition, but we're not counting just elites in this. This is the best WWE figures of 2020 thus far, and so I had to include John Cena on here. I love the hat, even though the, the orange isn't the most accurate. I love the deepness of it. I like the sculpt. I love this head sculpt. Oh man, what a great figure! I like the ankles here, the shoe mold. This is a this is a beauty, man. I, I love it. I freaking love it. Had to come in at number four, and it could have possibly been higher. It was really a toss up between this one and the next figure you're gonna see, but number four I put. John Cena in the Ultimate Edition, and now we're going to move on to the number three figure on my list, which is going to be... The Fiend Bray Wyatt. Now, you're probably wondering to yourself, how in the hell is this number three? I could have sworn this would be number one. I feel like everybody's probably going to put this at number one so far, but the figure is not perfect, okay? Uh, the biggest gripe I have is, like, look how tiny his hands look on this figure. I feel like he has baby hands. Like, Jesus, man. Look how tiny they are right there. I think that's one of the bigger uh, gripes. I did not get the one with the blonde hair, so I had to, like, custom paint my hair. I would have preferred that, so the, the hair color wasn't the most accurate. Um, I feel like he may be just a little bit short. I feel like he definitely needs to be taller, but uh, overall, I just love the the things that I do love about the figure is just the uniqueness to it. I, I just love it. I think the character looks badass in figure form. The mask sculpt is fantastic. It looks just like Bray Wyatt. I could probably even add some more blood to the mask, which I possibly could do in the future, but I mean, this figure is great. I did replace the, the little boot covers right here on the figure and, and changed it up a little bit on action figure surgery or appointment or whatever that was, but this figure had to come in in the top three, and I think everybody will agree that it is a top three figure of the year thus far, and uh, you know, you may have it a little higher than me, but for me, it is at the number three spot, but I know you guys are curious to know what is number two and what is number one. 
So coming in at number two, guys, I went with the Ultimate Edition Brock Lesnar. Now, if anybody knows me and you know how much I love these figures and the, and the posability around these figures, I think a lot of people could have probably seen this coming because uh, Brock Lesnar's figure is just so ultimate, man. It is a beast. It is the beast. It's just like Brock Lesnar, the double jointed arms. I love, again, I, I'll mention it all the time, but the seamlessness of the figure. Like when you look at this figure, it doesn't even look like a figure at first because you can't even see this joint that they hid right here. So if he's just standing straight up, it doesn't even look like it's a joint. Like, I, I just think that's so beautiful how it moves here. You got the interchangeable head sculpts, the double jointed arms. The figure just moves great. I love the boot mold that we got going on, the toe pivot. Uh, it, it's just such a fun figure to pose around. It's definitely one of the better ones, even though the accessories weren't the best in the world. I mean, they weren't bad, but they weren't the best in the world. And this figure is actually kind of hard to come by now, which didn't add to the ranking of it. But I feel like it's just so beautiful, man. And it's so good in the hand. If you guys own it, you know what the hell. I'm talking about. It is number two on my list, the Ultimate Edition Brock Lesnar. And coming in at number one, you're probably like, how in the hell is that not number one? If that's not number one, who in the hell is going to be number one? Let me fix this because this is bothering me, man. We want to center this because that's just, that's just atrocious. So coming in at number one, guys, I am going with Mr. T. Yes, Mr. T, the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive for 2020 is going to be the Mr. T WWE Elite figure. I love this figure, man. It's it's kind of crazy. I just love how wacky it is. I love the outside of the box thinking of it. I love that it's so unique. And it actually can pose around really, really nicely. I love the accessories with it. Just the nostalgia I get with it as well. Again, just growing up and watching Mr. T moments here and there. Obviously, I wasn't there prime when it was live, but uh, going back and watching and then and then the things I've said about Robot Chicken is just hilarious and just having him in figure form and being able to possibly put him in the pig fed and it's a Mattel, it's not a custom, it is an actual Mattel creation here where I can say pity the fool and I can fart in the bags and smell it. This guy's a beast, man. It is great. I love the gold on the boots. I love the likeness, the gold change, the the bracelets, the gauntlets, the belt. I mean, it is it is the best, man. It is the best. It's my favorite, far, it's my favorite figure that this far of the year, and I'm sure that we're going to get plenty of bangers coming at Comic-Con. Comic-Con at home is coming very soon, guys. It's like in the next 10 days, and also on July 22nd, if you guys missed out on the Mr. T, you can actually grab it at MattelCreations.com. It'll be the last time that you have a chance to pre-order it. MattelCreations.com, July 22nd. You'll want to get in a pre-order because uh, Mr. T is going to come and go, and when it's gone, it's gone. So, you definitely want to put your pre-order in on there, and that is going to do it for my top 10 figures of the year thus far. Thank you guys so very much for watching. What is your top 10 of the year so far? Do you agree with my list? Is there some figures that you would interchange in here? I'm sure I probably left out a really good figure. I call myself going back and checking and trying to see what figures could go in here, but I tried to do my best, man. It's my own personal top 10. If you guys have any other figures you think should be in here, let me know down in the comment section below. But that does it for my ranking, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.